Hey everybody, it's uh, me, Gus. Yeah, I decided to take a video this time during daylight hours. Because the last one, uh, yeah, I shot that at night. You know, I was really bored. Um, uh, this one is uh, going to be static. I'm not going to be even running the rig. Just kind of like looking looking at it, having a close look at it. Um, so, uh, it hasn't been painted as you can see. All metal, pretty much everything you see I cut welded, whatever, uh, except for the uh, the red parts which are out of a TWH kit, which apparently they went out of business, so <clears throat> it's kind of sad, but uh, and what are you going to do? I got some ideas for my own lattice, uh, boom, and parts. So, uh, what we got down here, let's see. Get a close look at this. Okay, we got our uh, it's our boom hoist ribbing. Apparently, there's a listing one, two, three, four, five, six, twelve shivs there. So let's look. That looks like a that would be 24 parts plus the two going to the hoist. So we got 20, 26. I know I said 28 in the video. I think so. We're looking at 20, 26 parts of boom ribbing and uh, the motor right here is strong but it's not strong enough I'm gonna to have to replace it with uh, one that's like about three times as uh, more powerful which will be perfect for this it's gonna be slower of course but it's a boom who cares should be slow um, so that's that and I actually, I actually got a couple turnarounds in here you kinda of like could see one right there there's one on the back side and one on the front side so we got some turnarounds or you know they're not like um, they're like crisscrosses, let me say that. They're not actual turnarounds. Now, that'll be next. Figure out how to do it. Be putting some turnarounds in there, just like the big boys got. Um, there's our two swing motors. W right now, one is not working. You can see the, the wire's only going to one. One has got the wires cut off it. And what that does is with two of them, it lets you swing slowly and smoothly. Because, like, when you cut down the RPMs with these motors, you lose your torque, too, so and any little thing will stop the swing so two and probably will be actually going to three motors in the future because there is another hole for a third motor uh, right down here is a look at the uh, the bull gear and the, uh, the ring gear so if I can right there so it looks pretty scale I think I'm sure you do too uh, so that works out good. I modified it. That's all I can tell you about it. The rest is a secret. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of things I can tell you, and then there's stuff I can't tell you. So, uh, of course, this is a teles telescoping boom. There are wear pads in in every section. These this boom, this one is a prototype that could be pinned at uh, 166 or 33% or zero. I believe that's a, yeah. I used to have it written down right there. That'd be 66%, it's 33. And of course, uh, 100. So uh, that's 140 foot of, of squirt there. And this is another 140 foot of uh, lattice. Yeah, this was in luff, but uh, I did have a problem with one of the luff masks, and it came apart, and that was really spectacular. Too bad I didn't have the camera on it that day. So uh, for now, I'm just running it in a fixed boom, a fixed jib, uh, fixed jib here. Um, so let's see uh, these uh, <clears throat> pieces of counterweight. Which I believe that right now there's let's see there's a six on each side, so there's twelve and then there's another uh, four down there, so yeah, we're running twelve and four, sixteen. And they come out to be scale weight of fifty-nine tons to each. So we're running up <clears throat> um you know around seven hundred tons of counterweight. So, I'd like to classify this as a 2,000 ton class machine. Uh, 
everything is in 150th scale. And uh, let's see, that's about it. Uh, you know, up there we are running the uh, 12 parts. That's my own block that I made. Uh, I'm going to make a few tweaks on it, but it seems to be pretty good. It will be able to expand or contract pretty easily. Uh, and I'm thinking it's about it. This is, and basically this is the prototype. It's really not for sale unless you really, really want it bad and you really, you know, don't care about price. And you want to give me an obscene amount of money for it, then yeah, I probably could sell it. Otherwise, I'm going to keep this one just to base the next batch off of the, produ the production run, so I like to call it, which is not going to happen anytime in the near future. So, if uh, you're interested in maybe having one of these, you're going to have to wait. So it's good, you know, save your money, you know, tune in and. Uh, when you do get one, when I do have some inventory, they are going to be really nice. They all have, like I said, three swing motors. So that will let you uh, swing very smoothly and with extreme loads on a hook. Like here, right here, these are my uh, counterweight. I don't know what you want to call them. Uh, like this is when I'm running full counterweight. I got to see these straps. They hold everything kind of straight. Uh, checking her out, huh? Okay, no. Anyways, uh, these uh, had them straps. You know, keep them kind of kind of straight. And uh, and you can. What's nice about it? You could the top one and the bottom one are yeah. They're it's all one piece steel. The rest can just come in and out. So kind of you can free up your counterweight to do whatever you want. See, that's what that looks like. That holds everything because you know I think I'm going to put one more strap on it so it'll be three straps, one side open. This way your counterweights will kind of stay straight. But anyways, uh, yeah, the cap is from a TWH kit also. Okay, otherwise, yeah, it's all me. Um, let's see, that's about it for now. I, mean, I noticed the video is going way too long. It's seven and a half minutes already. So, uh, let's see. I over here, okay, that's the uh, power going to it from a uh, wall power, and I convert it down to six volts for everything on here. Uh, the first, at first, I was using uh, lipos, but yeah, they're a pain in the uh, butt. You got to recharge them all the time and all that crap. So I figured, you know what? This is not an airplane or a boat or anything; just stationary piece of uh, equipment. So why not just run wall power to it? So that's nice, running on wall power. Plug it in, forget about it. Run it 24 hours a day if you want. And this is the radio here again. Uh, this does run on AA batteries, so uh, I guess you can put an iCAD in it. But the AA's are pretty cheap. You can buy, you know, a 60 pack at wherever it goes for like, you know, five bucks, whatever. And, uh, you know, so you just change them. They last, you know, several hours. Um, and what I like about this radio is uh, instead of having a bunch of these like on and off things, it gives you two of these dials. So you can actually use these for functions. Like I put my swing on this one. This way we, I can swing it and forget about it. And while it's swinging, I can be booming and hoisting. And if you got the luft on there, you can be booming and hoisting and lufting and, you know, and hoisting on that. So, yes, and eventually there will be a track version. You know, I pretty much got that all figured out. I just have to do it, have to execute. And yes, that'll be expensive as shit, so we'll see. Uh, again, the radio, which is nice because you get your four channels here and then two more right here. So, and you get one uh, dual rate. And I, this is, I believe, is, another, is a, a seven channel, so on off, like lights. This is good for lights, let's say. You want to put strobe lights on there or or something that's an on off so anyways I am rambling just went way too freaking long and but I just want to show you guys what this looks like in the daytime because yeah I know that last video was shot kind of like really late at night you know and uh, just thought I'd do that uh, okay I am signing off and uh, oh 
I appreciate it if you guys give me some freaking likes now and then, or maybe, you know, something. You know, uh, it would be nice to see something. You know, if not, I mean, whatever. I really don't. It sounds like I do, but I guess I really don't give a shit, but it would be nice, you know. So, anyways, yeah, if you could just fucking click on that little like thing, yeah, I appreciate that. So, <laughs> anyways, if you're still with me, which you're probably not, because, I mean, this ran way too long. But if you're still with me, thanks for watching, and yeah, click on the like. And uh, tell your friends and family about this. No, I'm just kidding. Alright, uh, see you later, and I'll try and get another video, an action video, shot in the daylight this time on ASAP. Thank you. And don't forget to like. Bye.